What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out our Jaspies High End Quad Case Break, guys. This features Flawless, NT, Five Star, and Finest. This is a tiered random team break where you do get two teams each. So, again, this features a two box case of 2022 Flawless that just came out on Wednesday, a four box case of NT that came out two weeks ago, and then an eight box case of Five Star that came, back, came out about a month and a half ago. And then, of course, Top's Finest, which actually released today. Now, the one thing I will say that I do love about this is that we're doing a little tiered teams. So, of course, we're going to randomize the names in the tiered list below. Whatever tiered team you match up is what you get. I think Nick did a really good job of trying to make this as even as possible. Now, of course, some people are, of course, are still going to want the Yankees, Angels, Mariners in a lot of these breaks. But I think he did a good job of mixing in some of the higher-end teams with some of maybe the lower-end teams to kind of make it as fair as possible. So, of course, we copied and pasted those teams. There they are right there. That's 15. And here are the 15 names. We sold all those uh, straight up from Tristan down to D'Lo. And then Tim and Tristan won those from a Topps update uh, number six random teams break. So let's go, guys. So we're going to randomize the names, teams, and then we'll see what you guys got. And if there's some trades, we'll do a trade window. And if not, we'll start. Roll. It is a two and a five. Lucky number seven. Seven times. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Got a seven. Carl. Down to Carl. Now here we go. Seven times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seventh and final time. Boom, seven times. Braves at the top with the Rangers combo, down to the Angels and Guardians combo. So, Carl, you have the Atlanta Braves, Texas Rangers. D'Lo with the Dodgers and Reds, as well as the Blue Jays and Cubs. Tristan, you have the Royals and Baltimore Orioles combo, as well as the Tigers and Brewers. Tim. You have the Mariners, Rockies, Carl with the Pirates, Nationals, as well as the Padres, Astros. Tristan, you have the Phillies and the Chicago White Sox combo. Carl with the Cardinals, Giants combo. Tristan, you have the New York Mets, Minnesota Twins combo. And Carl getting the Yankees, Diamondbacks combo, as well as the Boston Red Sox, Marlins combo. Chuckster, Charles, got the Rays, A's combo. And then Carl, you have the Angels, Guardians combo. So... I will leave the trade window open for the meantime if there's anybody that wants to potentially trade. Uh, and if not, we'll just close it. Now, uh, for the meantime, though, guys, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take this off and turn on the top cam. I kind of want to start kind of rip, ripping a couple of these stuff, especially like the, uh, like the finest. So I'm going to start off with Finest, then I'm going to go to 5 Star, we'll go to NT, and then we'll end up with Flawless. But I want to rip open this Finest case and just start ripping it already. So while you guys are trading, I'm going to start start ripping some of these boxes. But you never know, guys. Like one thing, like I said, I know some people wanted specific teams, potentially, but I think every combo is a pretty good one. And obviously, throughout the four cases, uh, have chances at some nice hits. Yeah, I'm not going to go through the cards. I'm just going to rip them. And just a little FYI, guys. Uh, I think the way we have done it in the past is that if you want to trade the tier, you can't trade one team from the tier. You have to trade both. So you can't be like, I'll trade the Red Sox uh, for the Nationals. You know, and you'd have to trade the Red Sox tier straight up. Not just one team from the tier. Because then it just gets complicated.
Uh, Tristan's suggesting wanting to trade the Phillies tier for the Dodgers tier. Leave it open for another box. Once I finish ripping this box, we'll close it if no one else wants to accept. So, uh, D'Lo, let me know. I think uh, Tristan wants to trade uh, his Phillies tier for your Dodgers tier. So just let me know. You can try. Carl, are you watching, Carl? Tristan, of course, is a big Yankee guy. He's willing to trade any of his tiers for your Yankees tier. Never hurts to try. Worst thing is uh, Carl's going to say no. <laughs> I mean, it just depends on the case cases, honestly. The Yankees are always one of the best teams, right? But I think I've seen plenty of you, and you guys have seen plenty. Sometimes the Yankees, the Mariners, the Rays, I mean, they just they don't hit. You just don't know. Like, you know, it all just depends on the cases that, that we got. So I personally never like to make any trades with my teams, unless it's, like, trading for, like, my Eagles or something like that, and I had a pretty normal, like, well-rounded team. If, if I had, like, the best team in the league... At that year, and I wanted the Eagles, I probably wouldn't trade it. But yeah, no problem. No, I mean, no worries. We don't know. Yankees could have a friggin' 101 babe come out, or, you know, Aaron Judge autos, or it might not. We don't know. Alright then. Let's close it then. So again, we'll start off with finest guys, and then we'll work our way to five star, and to NT, end it off with flawless. But I think for the most part, everybody still got themselves one solid team, and this is all 2022, so that's the good thing, right? I mean, O'Neill Cruz for the Pirates, right? If you want to look at a bigger team, Mariners, of course, Julio, Tampa Bay Rays, um, Wander Franco, and. Etc. All those other teams. Yankees with good vets. And I don't know why this damn thing keeps falling. It's this card right here that's messing it up. Take those two out. It is, Brayden. Yeah. It's already on the schedule. I think Nightbot is dropping our link to the schedule every like five minutes. So, uh, we'll break out of this. It won't break, though, probably till like, 9.45, though. This break will take, like, an hour and a half. Yeah, Bobby Witt for the Royals is a nice one to potentially get. Tigers, Torkelson, Braves, and Macuna among some good vets. I think it's pretty well-rounded, actually.
hate that some of these cards are in like properly mold right, but they'll get flattened out on a top loader though. Alright. Here we go guys. Let's go with the first four. Alright, we got Bobby Wood Jr., rookie. Cornerstone, JD Martinez, little uh, Manny Machado for the Padres. Color to two fifty. And then we have a Tyler McGill for the Mets. Mets is Tristan. Montero. Aaron Judge, color. That's number to 300. Sorry, guys. Maybe I should just do this stack at the top so it just doesn't fall. Another Tyler McGill. Brandon Marsh Refractor. Austin Riley Refractor. You got Chris Bryant. To 125. And then Eli Morgan. Autograph there for Cleveland. Cleveland Guardians is Carl. We got a Rafael Devers. To 175. Got a Jackie Robinson die cut. George Kirby Silver. Purple Joe Ryan for the Minnesota Twins. That's Tristan. With a Connor Wong autograph for the Boston Red Sox. Boston Red Sox is Carl. Suzuki Refractor. We got Trevor Story. Blue for the Sox. To 150. We got a Nolan Arenado, a little orange, it looks like. Yeah, 6 out of 25. Cardinals, going to Carl. And a Jake Berger Green, our first numbered autograph. And that is uh, number to 99, and that's Chicago White Sox, going to Tristan. Julio Rookie, Abrams Refractor. Charlie Blackman. Andre Jackson for the Dodgers. LED Dodgers, that's D low. We got Javi Baez. 175. Bobby Blair rookie and then a Hunter Green purple to 250. With another Connor Wong. Hope this probably doesn't have a lot of repeat autos. We got Jose Ramirez. Julio. Jacob DeGrom. To 
All right, here we go. Next one. Otani, Cornerstone, Trevor Rogers. It's like a blue to 250. And Alejo Lopez. And I think we already grabbed the first auto out of this. I think that was another McGill, so I think that might be the only auto on this side. Christian Yelich. And a Stephen Kwan. Guardians. Gonna Carl. Alright, so there you go. There was the first eight autos there. A lot of pitchers, I will say, but like I said, maybe the heat tidy on this half. I don't know, Steven. To be honest, I like the Dodgers in baseball, but I'm not really into the whole younger prospecting, you know? So, I'm not too sure. I don't even know. Did he even play for the, did he play for the Dodgers last year, actually? I don't even know that. I know he's a rookie in this class, but I don't know if he actually played or he's already up. But, uh, I'm not... Baseball is not this... Not my favorite, favorite sport to... To, uh... To go like deep diving and stuff. It's, it's mainly football and hockey. Then it'll go basketball, then baseball for me. I'm assuming he played for the Dodgers already, though, because usually they do rookies just because they already played. Yeah, Jason Robertson, man. Or not, uh, yeah. Well, the Robertson brothers. They're both here from Arcadia. Like, maybe five, six miles away from where I grew up. Off the 210. Out here, Tristan, in California? I mean, I'm a big loyal In-N-Out fan. I love In-N-Out. I think it's a great burger. Price is great. It's freshness. Animal style. You know. But, um... I'm not a picky person, either. I, I, I like Five Guys burgers. I think they're great. I think, like, for a fast food, I'd probably go In-N-Out. Over a lot of those other ones. But uh, burger-wise, my wife introduced me to Hop Dotty. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. There's a couple of them here, one in El Segundo, another one in uh, Marina Del Rey. But I think there's one like I think they're kind of kind of all over. Not too many of them, but I know there's one in Austin. That's where she first tried it. That's more of a gourmet burger. Yeah, in and out slowly expanding. To the East Coast. The thing for In-N-Out is that a lot of... Well, the only reason I know a lot of it is because of my wife's family. A lot of my wife's uh, family on her mom's side works for In-N-Out. And have worked for In-N-Out for like 30 years. Uh, one of my my wife's uncles has been an In-N-Out driver 
uh, delivering for throughout states and stuff for over like 20 years. Another one's worked in the meat department his whole life. Another one's like in the higher rankings and all this shit. So the thing with In-N-Out is that they slowly will start making more and going more throughout the United States. But they rely on their distribution and they like everything fresh. And so, you know, they got to build their whole operation first out there. Contract some good places where they can get good meat that is to their standards and then like I said everything is delivered fresh so it won't be for a little bit but they'll definitely get over there yeah that's smorgasbord I think like every Sunday here the one I like to go to uh, that's here that started maybe about five six years ago maybe maybe, maybe more but um, I like to go to the six two six night market. It's always held in a in a Santa Anita racetrack. It's like five dollars admission. Since it used to be free, but it's five dollars admission now and free parking. Which is great. They expanded to OC. I think they're even doing to Vegas now. Oh, nice, Tristan. Yeah. Well, I think Smorgasbord. Uh, more you know, Berg, you know what you're talking about. I don't think I've personally been there. A lot of my cousins go there, but I think it's it's pretty unique there, right? Because it's more like kind of on the like. There's a lot of like vegan vendors there, and it's oh, well, it's everything. But like mainly, I think I feel like a lot of like vegan and like good like food. That's probably like, good for you, right? I do follow their page and I just notice all this crazy food but it's like made with this made with that I'm like whoa <laughs> but yeah it's very popular here my, one of my cousins that goes to that, sh goes to that shit almost like every other weekend But yeah, I mean, obviously, Mexican food here in California is definitely A1. AA1. Dumplings. Ooh, I love dumplings. Okay. When you come visit us, Tristan, if you ever do, bring us some dumplings. You did Bidia dumplings? Wow, that sounds amazing. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That's awesome, dude. I love, I love shit like that, you know? Switch it up a little bit, right? I mean, you could put anything in a dumpling. That's sick, man. And it's served with consomme? Chill, Tristan. That's crazy, man. I gotta try this. Alright. Mackenzie Gore. To 125. And then we got a Spencer Watkins. I feel like there's been a lot of pitchers lately. In this case. To 99 for the Orioles. Vidal Bruhan. For the Rays. Little Julio.
Bobby Wood Jr. Nice purple there. This is the one thing about Finest and all the kind of little heavy base products where you get base cards. You can get the nice colors. That definitely helps out a lot. A new Cruz. Luke Williams for the Phillies. Phillies. That's uh, also going to Tristan, I believe. Yeah. Wow. Is that in the same box? Another Bobby Witt. To 150. Purple and a blue. I personally don't know, Steven. Austin Meadows for the Rays, one in Chuckster. They were like, oh, I don't know actually. I was watching some videos, but I don't know what to do. Is it bad? Benya for the Astros. Houston Astros. Uh, Carl. Whoa. Actually, you know what? I think these are the case sets, aren't they? Which one were these called again? I totally forgot. Jake Berger. Honor Franco. Whoa. What color is that? Wow, that's out of 10. Oh, okay. So, I forgot. Do you know what they call this, though? This is like a variation, though, right? Yeah, I guess it's not a case hit, but they... I think they usually put a couple in a case, don't they? Freddie Freeman. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. One of ten. I don't even know what to call that one. Is that black? We got Matt Manning. Number to 25. Steven Adams. Is that him, man? I think it is. Did you see the fight, Jason? No, there's a fight. Well, not really a fight. A what? Altercation, maybe? With what? Shannon Sharp sitting courtside. With who? With Steven Adams. No, oh, really? Adams. Yeah, that was Steven Adams. No, uh, he went up to oh. courtside for it. Oh, correct. Oh, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Stupid Adams wanted a piece of him, though. Oh, did I say something else? Sorry. Yeah, that's Dodgers, right? That's that's you. Did I not say that? Yeah, that's you, right? Oh no, I thought actually Tristan had the the uh, the Dodgers. I probably would have said try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo, but yeah, that's yours. Pretty Freeman Dodger. <laughs> Tell me it's on YouTube TV app. That's why. It's on the YouTube app. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got you. Ronald Acuna Jr. That's kind of funny how that all played out, and I'm happy it did because we basically found a, a mistake, right? On that whole uh, Diplin. On that whole, um, flawless De La Cruz, here we got a gold coming out, and a Matt Olson Braves cornerstone gold 50 50. Well, I just thought it was just so funny that, like, they even had, like, other players that haven't even played a damn, like, inning or a at-bat for those teams. Marcus Simeon. Already labeled. So, I, I had a feeling that had to be a mistake. There was no way. It's like, you're going to have those guys in the right team, but then you're going to have Freddie Freeman as Brave. Had to be a mistake. Max Scherzer. 
All right, last box here, guys. It's been okay. I mean, I just feel like it's been a lot more pitcher autos, but maybe we'll get a nice big hit right here. But every case is totally different, though, so I think that's the one thing. Ooh, there we go. Speaking of it, there, that's something we wanted right there. Bobby Wood Jr., 90 out of 99. Sure. It has been a Bobby Wood case for the rookies, so. Take that. Trout color. We'll take that too. Lubov. And Jake Myers for the Astros. Houston Astros. Uh, Carl. Alec Thomas color. And we got a Josiah Gray, finest rookies. All right, guys. Well, we did get that Bobby with us. Pretty nice. And then, of course, every other auto is right here. Colors was really nice. More greens. Got an orange. And then, of course, a lot more colors. I, I already put away a lot of the color ones, but just to show you guys here. And then that's out of 10. And then a couple Bobby Witts. So, yeah, it was kind of a Bobby Witt case, honestly. Don't worry though, man. We have a lot of cases. I mean, this wasn't a possibility, I guess, because it wasn't like not in a picker team. It was more in a mixer, but. Move on to the next case. Five star. Guys. 
First one is Jackson Reitz. Then we got a little Chipper Jones. Atlanta Braves. Let's go to Carl. In Milwaukee, it's Tristan. I hit one of those, Tristan. I hit the Jeter Marino dual auto, and then I hit the Trout Otani dual autograph in the same night on Instagram. All right, we got Jake Cousins. Then we have a five tool phenom autograph of Luba for the White Sox. Chicago White Sox with that one. For the D-backs in 25, that's Stuart Fairchild for Arizona. It's going to Carl. And then a Paul O'Neill for the Yankees. Also going to Carl. Oh, wow, they actually were paired of teams. Zach Short to 50. And then a Blake Snell to 75. Padres. Carl. Detroit. Tristan. And we got a out of 75 Gilded Graphs, or Golden Graphs, sorry. Jack Flaherty with a little polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Mets is Tristan. And then St. Louis Cardinals is Carl. We have Ryan Velotti and a Corbin Burns shadow box out of 25. Brewers having a good break in this, actually. And Colorado Rockies. Uh, that's Tim. Austin Meadows to 40 for the Rays. And a Daryl Strawberry for the Mets. Alright, last one here, folks. Dennis Accuracy to 40 for the Oakland A's going to Chuckster. And then we're going to end it off with a Matt Olson for the Atlanta Braves for Carl. A little bit more vets on this one, but still a nice little case though. 
Still nice, still nice. All right, let me clear out this trash bag really quick. I, I'm kind of running out of room, so. But NT's up next, and then we're going to end it off with Flawless. All right, case of NT. So we're pretty much halfway through our, our break, so we're gonna do case of NT and then a case of Flawless, guys. And uh, this is where the real fun begins, right? Some nice, really high-end stuff here. We got a Jordan Montgomery to 99. That's for St. Louis. Oops, sorry, two cards are stuck there. Mike Ballman for Baltimore, and Bragman Relic for Houston. Tristan, two words. Go birds. Is what Dito's gonna say. Alright, we got Riley Adams die cut to 25. Nice one there for uh, Washington. Corey Lee. Out of 99. I think he's pretty healthy for the most part, man. I think the last game, of course, they didn't want him... Potentially even getting tackled and injured, um, of course, in Week 18. Because they knew the playoffs were going to happen regardless. It's just more trying to get the number one seed. But now he's n not on injury report. He's, he's ready to roll. And like he said, I'm going to be myself out there. Gavin Sheets. Luis Gill. Oh, it's a redemption stuck on the bottom. To 49. That's one for the Yankees. But have they though, Tristan? And maybe maybe just well against the Vikings. They're like three and seven or three and eight in their last like 10, 11 games. 
And Cal Ripken, die cut material signatures of gold. That's going to Baltimore. Then we got legendary jumbos, Bob Turley for the New York Yankees. Oh, yeah, I got two here. Thank God. Actually, I have a third over there. The last one here El Rayo, Jose City. That's a uh, Houston, right? Yeah. All right, first box. Ooh, look at that! I don't even think they could tape this box. They only taped it on one side. What does that mean? We got a one on one coming up. I see the one on one right there. We got Corbin Martin to 99 for Zona. Nice Dylan Carlson patch to 10 for St. Louis going to Carl. And then a Ernie or Ernie Lombardi to 25 for Cincinnati. Alright, we got a Edwin Rios to 10 for the Dodgers. I, don't know, I think, is that a book? I don't know what that is, actually. A Mark Vientos one of one for the Mets. We'll take that. A little uno of uno. Nice one there for the Mets. Who has the Mets again? New York Mets. It's Tristan. Apprentice Inc. We have to 25, Jake Fraley for Seattle. Mariners is Tim. We got a nice Angel Zerpa RPA, Kansas City Royals. That's another one there for Tristan. Yeah? Damn. You're always going to remember your first, man. And how about a one of one? That looks like the Hall of Fame uh, patch autographs or relic autos. Is that Dave Winfield? Yes. One of one for the Yankees. Yankees is Carl. Oh, well, I know you were new to us. I don't know in general, but I figured you probably would have had one by now. You know, you kind of been getting your at-bats, but nice, man. So two one ones in this book. Then we got dual signature materials to 99. Woo! What a randomizer, guys. Wander Franco and O'Neal Cruz. What a box. That is a dual patch autographs. And that's going to be between the Pirates and Carl. And Tampa Bay Rays and Chuckster. Fight to the death. <laughs> So we'll have to randomize that at the end. This is, this is a great box, actually. And then we got Salvador Perez to 48. 48 home runs. Treasured stats. Killer box. Ha <laughs> ha, 
dying out, Chuckster. Woo! Another thick box. You never know, man. You still have the rest of this box and potentially flawless, so. Check it out. Another one of one here, guys. Another one of one printing plate. Man, this is a solid case. Alright, we got Jorge Polanco to 25. That's Field Gear. Uh, Minnesota. And then Willie Adams. Oh, that's right, d -Lo. That was your bet, right? Two and a half over one on ones or under? Yeah, we hit the over. If he chose the over, he, he did well. What a case of to spare, too. Eli Morgan, RPA. 10 of 10. Going to the land. Cleveland Guardians, that's Carl. You got Rafael Devers, 249. We got an auto to 10, Jonathan India, Cincinnati. We have a Evan White for Seattle, Patch Auto, number to 64. Seattle is Tim. And then we have a rookie one of one, printing plate RPA, Stephen Kwan. Very nice. That's for Cleveland. Who has the land? I just said it though. Carl. Another one of one coming your way. Shane Beebs. For Cleveland again. We have, we believe, Brandon Marsh. That's Angels Edition Brandon Marsh. 46 out of 49. Angels, that is uh, Carl. And then we got a. Whoa! One of two legendary signature awards. And it is Paul Wanner. 1907 MVP or 1927 MVP. Only two of these. And that is uh, for Pittsburgh. Pirates. Pirates, that's Carl. Posing his pitcher struggled to get Weiner out of the batter's box. The you know, outfielder dominated his era, crushing a hit after a hit. 1927 recorded 237 base knocks, setting a record in Pittsburgh. The franchise uh, older for four of the top ten single season hit totals. I think it depends on the player, especially if it's like a rare cut autograph, probably. <laughs> I know, right? They got a deal, deal. That's fair. It's fair. You got to cut. Wow. Another thick box, and they couldn't tape this one either. Could there be four straight one on ones? Oh my god. This one. That, oh, you know what? This is one of those. Three player chests, I think. Uh, Bruce Star Gratterall for the Dodgers to 99, and then we got a Bernie Willings for the Yankees to 49.
Yeah, well, if you were here, Chuckster, yeah, you could have traded, potentially. Uh, but I think Tristan was the only one trying to, but nobody responded. So that's kind of the thing about the group breaking is that, like, you know, if you're not here to kind of trade with somebody, then you kind of miss out on that. But I don't know about making deals. You mean by, like, trading, though, right? Like, trading your teams? Eddie Matthews. No, what do you mean by that? And that is uh, Milwaukee Braves, which should be going to the Atlanta Braves. We have AJ Alexi Auto with a TJ Friedel Auto. Oh no, no, it's it's. There's no majority. There's no majority rules like that. If there's a Two players, two different teams, it's always going to be randomized. The only time we made an exception was like if we pulled like a dual logo man, something like that, like yesterday or two days ago, then we would allow the customers to maybe split it. But there's no majority rules, no, no things like that. If there's two players, three players, four players, it's always going to be randomized. Unless it's like a life changing hit. Dylan Carlson to seven. St. Louis Cardinals going to Carl. We have Andre Jackson to 99. 69 out of 99. Nice. Yeah, Alex told me he got a pretty... He got an offer for like 50. And then another guy messaged him today saying that he thinks the card's like 100,000, but he has to check with his partner. <laughs> so I don't know. He's, he's going to try to sell it probably before redeeming it. Tony Oliva, 249 from Minnesota. All right, then we have a Timeless Treasures, 18 out of 25. This is such a heavy box or heavy booklet. Wow. It says Adley Rutschman, Riley Green, Gaber Moreno, Novelli Marte. Look at that. So some of the younger prospects are are these all catchers maybe? No, not catchers. Oh, considered four of the top prospects in the game. That's what it is. So there you go. That's also going to be randomized later. All righty, guys. Well, pretty solid case there, though, I think. I feel like this is probably one of the better NT cases with some nice low numbers, good booklets, one-on-ones, duels. It's time for the big stuff here. Oh, uh, on Wednesday, Tristan, on release night, I, I break on Instagram doing personal boxes. And a customer of ours on Instagram bought uh, some boxes, and uh, I hit him this dual rookie logo man. So it's dual rookie logo man autographs with Cade Cunningham, Scotty Barnes. It was an insane pull. My reaction video is on Instagram if you want to see it. And actually, Joe got to witness it too because uh, he heard me say the f bomb, and then he came over.
That would have been a very sad randomizer, but again, because that would have been like potentially monsters, like life changing him potentially. I think we would have probably um, had the customers decide what. But if it was like an R and B, and both of those teams are in a randomizer, an R and B, and it was a zero, well then that customer would have got it because the random number block's a little different, but. If it had to be like split up, like randomized, I don't think we would have randomized it. I think we would have said, what do you guys want to do? Which I'm sure most people would have split it. I know, right? I know, Alex, uh, I told him, I was like, man. I was like, remember me when you sell this. <laughs> Yeah, I think that card is probably almost live, or they're just waiting for Barnes to sign it. Because he has been signing, you're right. Uh, we were going to figure out if we can find it, contact somebody, and I think he was potentially talking to somebody to contact somebody. I mean, I know some people that are big-time ballers that know people in Panini and Top, so like when they hit something crazy like that or they buy something crazy, I mean, they get it instantly. So it's more like, is it available? Is it like, are they waiting on Scotty, or is it already available? You know? So, I mean, we'll find out soon unless he sells it as is. All right, here we go. Videl Bruhan to start us off. 15 out of 15. Tampa Bay. That's going to uh, Chuckster. All right, we have out of 25, Randy Johnson. That's San Francisco Giants edition of Randy Johnson. Jackson Core, RPA, for Kansas City Royals, 8 of 10. Another uh, patch autograph, 2 out of 20, Ian Anderson. Alright, we got Matt Manning to 25 RPA. And I feel like we hit one Matt Manning in every case on Wednesday. <laughs> Jaron Duran, three color patch and autograph, four out of 20. That's Boston Red Sox. Carl. Reese Hoskins, 4 out of 20. And we have a Larry Walker, 4 out of 15. For Colorado, memorable marks. Colorado Rockies is Tim. Alright guys, here we go. Let's see what we got. I think this is the relic. And it is Flawless Picks. That is Chris Bryant and Aaron Judge. So that'll be a randomizer as well. 17 out of 20. So Chicago Cubs, right? Yeah, they have Cubs there. That's Chris Bryant, Chicago Cubs. Uh, D'Lo. And then Yankees, that'll be Carl. Put that over here to the side. And here we go, guys, here. Wow, it's Ken Griffey Jr. Nine out of ten. Little diamond and autograph. And it is USA Baseball, but I believe he played 
I think like they usually go for the team they play for the longest, and I'm pretty sure it's Mariners. But I'll show it up on the checklist right here on group break. Let's see, where's the flawless? Just to show you guys. And yep. So if you go right here, Ken Griffey Jr., they show the U.S. gem signatures, U.S. base gems. Basically everything's Mariners, Ken Griffey Jr. No, I know, but I mean, just because they make Reds ones, I mean, I think people always kind of trip out, but obviously the USA baseballs have always been their teams are currently on our teams we play for the longest. So there you go. Very nice one right there. And uh, yeah, Tim from a filler, right? He's actually still on the payroll. The, the, I think he's like the eighth paid highest player for the Mariner, or for the Reds. I don't think Griffey stops making a check from them for like another eight years or something like that. <laughs> All right, next case or next box, I should say. Is, is Trout not going to get 500? Or is Trout already over 500? I mean, people over exaggerated that his career was over and he sneakily hit like 40 home runs. I don't think his back would be a problem, Tyler. But, I mean, the media will spin up whatever they need to spin up to get a little news outgoing. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like I can see Mike Trout getting 500. He's at, where is he at? He's at 350. All right, we got Bobby Dell back to 20. I mean, I can see any of those guys that just hit home runs every year. I mean, I can see Harper getting there to 500. I mean, you basically have to average about 30. You basically have to average about 30 a season, right, to get to, like, 300. So that if you play 10 years, at least that. But some of these players average a little bit more than that. And if you end up having, like, a 15-year career, I mean, I feel like you end up getting to 500 at that point. But, yeah, I don't, I don't think we're never going to see that anymore. Cal Ripken, 1 of 5. Andre Jackson, 19 out of 20. When I mean, you think about it, he only played like 120 games or so. And dude had uh, 40 home runs. 124 hits, 80 RBIs. Wild. Shane Bass. 9 out of 25. Imagine if, if Trout would have played a whole season. <laughs> He probably hits another 20. He's in the 60s. Manoa, 6 of 7. How much time do baseball players usually miss throughout a season if they're not injured? Like, 
do they take like 10 games off throughout the season 15 games like or less than that Tyler O'Neill to 20 that is true and I think that goes for like hockey too like if hockey didn't have to postpone and you know there's sports around that time kind of slows it down just a little bit Will Clark 4 to 15. How doesn't uh doesn't Giancarlo Stan have like yeah Giancarlo Stan has three seventy eight. He's he's thirty three. Trout just turned thirty one. So I mean. Giancarlo's kind of a little bit on, on pace, I guess. And then we got Frank Thomas out of 15. Yeah, Nelson Cruz has 459. Is he still playing still? Like, he's going to play another year? I mean, if he, ha if he hits 40, somehow. <laughs> Clayton Kershaw, 3 out of 3 USA Baseball. Very nice. That's for the Dodgers. LAD. All right, guys. Last one here, folks. Good luck. Last hit of the break. Looks like it's a red. And it's going to be a college national team. 14 out of 20. And it is Spencer Torkelson. 14 out of 20. And, of course, that's going to go to Detroit. Tristan. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you go, man. There was some good stuff overall. I know there might have been a couple people that might not got too much. But I think everyone's still going to walk away with something for the most part. I mean, like Carl, Tristan. I mean, you know, some of these guys have multiple teams, so that kind of helped out. But all in all, that was pretty fun. And I still think we delivered some pretty nice stuff. Now to break some people's hearts, unfortunately. So... You got the duel there, Cruz and Wander Franco. You have the timeless talents, which would be those ones. And then we got that one right there. Toronto and Cincinnati. All right, night, Tristan. I'll talk to you tomorrow, man, if you pop in. All right, here we go, guys. Good luck. 
three times on the dice roll for all of these. Good luck. First one is Pirates Raise. Good luck. One, two, three. Staying with the Tampa Bay Rays. One and a two, three times. Congratulations, Rays. Uh, that was Chuckster, right? Chuckster. There you go, man. That is your duel. So nice duel right there. Three times here now on the quad relic. One, two, three. Boom, three times, three times. Blue Jays win that one. And Blue Jays, where's Toronto at? There it is, Devo. There you go, man. Got a little bit of quad for this, but. Or a slider box for this, but. Toronto wins that one there. And then last one here, of course. Three times. Cubs, Yankees. One, two, three. Yankees. Aaron Judge wins that battle. And that's going to Carl. And there you go, folks. Appreciate it, guys. This was a great break, fun break. Hopefully we do more of these in the future. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.